If your TikTok videos are getting stuck on 200 to 800 views every single time you post, listen up, because in this video, I'll cover viral TikTok tricks. In fact, I'd go as far as saying underrated hacks that you can implement to go viral on TikTok. Let's get into it. So, what is my experience on TikTok? Well, I've been running TikTok pages since 2022. And nowadays, the best two ways to get monetized on TikTok is through the Creator Rewards Program and the TikTok Shop Affiliate Program. My most successful ever TikTok page reached 500,000 followers before it got banned for unoriginal content. But I also make money nowadays in the TikTok shop as well. And what is one of the best ways you can go viral on TikTok? Let's get straight into it. It is sounds. Not enough people will implement this or actually know this. According to a TikTok research report, right, 88% of users say that sound is an essential part of the TikTok experience. But when it comes to posting content on TikTok, people do not take the sound seriously or what they do is just use a trending sound. I hear that all the time. How do I go viral on TikTok? Just use a trending sound. That seems to be it. But no one really goes deeply into how sounds make a massive impact when it comes to TikTok videos. So. In particular, sound effects. When you scroll through TikTok, and now I've said this, you're gonna notice it more. In fact, open up your phone and scroll through the For You page on TikTok, Instagram, YouTube Shorts, any of them. Especially faceless videos because it hasn't got a creator there and it has to entice the viewer without using someone famous or someone talking on the screen. How do you think they entice the viewer? Number one is most likely sound, and in particular, sound effects. Most popular faceless niches, including things like chat story messages, use sound effects. The ping sound when you get the message come through on the phone. Even the AI comparison niche. You've got those like sound effects where it's like the shock sound effect, the boom sound effects, like the rising tension sound effect. Videos always use sound effects to try and grasp the viewer's attention because it's a quick change. When it comes to TikTok, attention spans are short, right? That's one of the main things about social media, especially short form social media. Attention spans go like that. People want to swipe off the video super quickly and you have to keep them engaged. And the way you keep them engaged is by quick is by quick changes. Things like sound effects, things like changing visuals, that helps an awful lot. People will seem to understand the visual part a lot, but not the sound effect part enough. Especially when it comes to sound effects, people go into three main issues. Number one, they overuse them. You don't want to just flood your videos with sound effects because it takes away from the whole experience. Or they underuse them, like I mentioned previously, people don't use them at all. And the biggest one, especially for me, was not being able to find them. How do you find the right sound effect for your video? You can describe what you want, but you can't quite seem to find it online. Well, I'll fix the third issue, that's for sure. And how you do that is by using Wondershare Filmora. Now, Wondershare Filmora just released a brand new update that enables you to create your own sound effects using AI. Now, this is really cool because like I said previously, a lot of times you know the sound effect you want, you just can't seem to locate it. Well, this allows you to create it. All you need to do is head over to Wondershare Filmora, which I'll link in the description down below. When you're on your media product page, you go to audio, then go to AI sound effect and tool, and you just describe exactly what, you, what sound you want to create. Literally, that is it. For example, I'm gonna just create one for popping bubble wrap and see the sound effect that's created, and I'll add it into this video. And not just that, you can customize the sound effect as well. For example, the duration, how long you want it to be, and how many different sound effects are generated with each prompt. And not just that, Filmora have added a bunch of brand new features in their new update alongside the AI sound effects. I'm talking AI voice cloning, silence detection, you've got auto beat sync, a bunch of different updates that you can use in your own TikTok and social media videos. For example, if you watched my previous video about creating motivational content on TikTok, I use Filmora to create this. You can make all sorts of short form content using the app. For example, you can add filters on there, you can add captions, you can of course stitch videos together, and you can add in a bunch of the new AI features like I just mentioned. So you can check out Wondershare Filmora via the link in the description down below that will take you straight to the app so you can download it and use it for yourself. So now you're starting to implement sound effects, you've got a way to implement them. That's not enough to go viral. How can we now use this viral feature, the use of sound, to go viral on videos? Well, for me, it's simple as a three-step formula. You've got consistency, adaptability, and execution. That is it when it comes to TikTok. Three things, consistency, adaptability, execution. Let's get into each one. Starting with consistency. So you've probably heard this before, but especially when it comes to social media, those that are consistent are more likely to succeed. A lot of times people create an account and after one or two months of posting, they give up. It's not enough, they're not making any money, they're not getting any progress, they give up far too quickly. This image on the left hand side depicts most things in life, right? If you rely on just motivation, you've got that quick burst of energy, you've got a new idea to go at it, you go for two months full petal, doesn't really work, 
you're not going to get anywhere. Rely on consistency will get you through those tough times because you can just build up the steps bit by bit by bit. This YouTube channel you're watching right now, this video on this channel, right? When I started this channel in 2022, May 2022 to be exact, not many people would be watching this. In fact, basically no one was. It took me 18 months to get monetized on YouTube. 18 months, one and a half years before making any sort of money. Why Inspire, my most successful ever account I mentioned earlier before it got banned for unoriginal content, right? It took a month to reach a thousand followers. It took six to seven weeks to reach 10,000 followers and into the TikTok creator fund. And then five months after that, it reached 500,000 followers. I mean, that is just incredible, right? A whole six weeks to reach 10,000. I mean, a whole week, month in, in itself to reach 1,000. And then five months later, you're reaching 500,000 followers. It's just incredible growth. That is what happens when you're consistent. But not just consistency. That is a step one. Getting the posts in consistent. Make sure you're posting every single day. Then after that, adaptability. Everything, especially in social media, moves super quickly. It's like a wave. You have ups, you have downs. Be things become trendy, they don't become trendy anymore. You've got to capitalize and you can't become too emotionally attached to one particular niche or one particular content style. You've got to always be adaptable. Those that are adaptable are more likely to succeed on social media. They understand that it is to an extent business, right? You've tried something, it doesn't work out. No point trying to do something over and over again. Yes, you might be posting consistently in one particular niche, it's not working out. Now it's time to either change the niche or you stick with the same niche but change your content style. I mean, it's that old adage, right? Like insanity is a definition of doing the same thing over and over again and expecting different results. If you're posting in any sort of niche, Reddit stories, chat message stories, even personal branding, you're doing fitness content, for example. You're posting the same type of content for two months and each video is getting 200 to 300 views. You're doing something wrong. Change up the, the voices you're using. Change up the video length. Change up what you're talking about. Something needs to change because you're doing the same thing and it's not getting results. So you've got to be adaptable and realize, okay, something's working out. It's not going to work later or I'm trying something. It is working out. Let's capitalize. Even to this day, when it comes to TikTok and YouTube, I'm always trying to be adaptable. What is working? What isn't working? Stay on top. Stay at the top of your game and pay attention to the competitors. And finally, once you implement those first two, the final part is execution. Because you can post in a viral niche like these two videos here. The first one only got 400 views. The second one, 2.7 million views in the exact same niche. Because at the end of the day, right, it comes down to execution. How well can you do it? If you take two basketball, basketball players, you've got Michael Jordan in one hand, you've got me, for example, right? <laughs> Michael Jordan is a hell of a lot better at basketball than I am. He can execute better. He can make more shots than I can, right? He can, he can dunk the ball, I can't. Little things like that. So you can have the same niche, you can have the same posting style, etc. You can post the same amount of times every single day, but execution is the killer. Can you create a good quality TikTok video that you, not just looking at it from, oh wow, I spent a lot of time on that, that's good, but objectively, take yourself out of the equation. If you were scrolling through TikTok, would you actually watch the video that you are coming up with? Because if you aren't, that's probably a bad sign. So if you are proud of what you've made and you can sit there and go, you know what, if I found that on my For You page, I would actually watch that content, you're on to a winner. If you did enjoy this video, make sure you do subscribe down below and importantly, hit the bell notification button because that will keep you up to date with all social media, TikTok and money related videos I post on this channel. And not just that, you have to check out the video right beside me as it's a detailed breakdown on how you can go viral on TikTok in 2024. I'll see you right there.